Hello guys, in this video I'll show you the working of the IC L293D which is a motor driver IC. So this IC is very popular in, in field of robotics where we build small robots like line follower robots, obstacle avoider robots, object tracking robots and all those stuff because this IC is capable of driving two DC motors in both the directions irrespective of the other motor. So let me go ahead and turn on the simulation. Before that I'll just run you through the connections. So this IC has a pin called VSS which is used to power the IC obviously it is plus 5 volt and another pin called VS which is used to power the motors here I have assumed the motors to be 12 volts so I am using 12 volt supply if you want to know how much current this IC can deliver or what is the range of voltage that can be used and all those stuff these technical details will be given at the link that can be found at the description of this video and also the data sheet of the IC can be found at the description of this video so you can know all the technical details there here I will just show you the simulation so let me go ahead and simulate it so the, none of the motors are working now because both the pins are zero, uh, all the four pins are zero. So the first two pins are used to control the first motor and the second two pins are used to control the second motor. Now let me go ahead and make the first motor rotate. So the first motor is rotating in clockwise now and if I make this zero and if I make this one, it will rotate in anti-clockwise. Similarly, if I make this one, it will rotate in clockwise, the second motor, and if I make this one, it will run in anti-clockwise. You can also make both the motors rotate in either directions. For example, here the first one is rotating in clockwise, and the second one is rotating in anti-clockwise. To stop the motor, you can either make both the pins as zero, or make both the pins as ones. So if all the four pins are one, none of the motor will work, and if one pin goes zero, then it will work either in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. As always, the complete description can be found at the link of link that can be found in the description of this video. And thanks for watching.